what is up star seeds it's sid and today i am going to talk about old souls empaths shamans light workers and alchemists now these are five very common labels and terms that are used in the spiritual community today they generally all mean the same thing but i'm gonna go over the differences signs you are each one and kind of my whole take on this thing because these words have become very egotistical people will say oh i'm this powerful alchemist or oh i'm this mystical shaman like come on you guys we are all empaths we're all light workers and we're all old souls at the end of the day um we're gonna get into the differences now so there's timestamps if you really want to fast forward to a certain label that you have been called lately and you want to see what it means that's cool but i really recommend watching the whole video because these terms are so closely linked like you just want to hear all of them if you're watching this you know so here we go old souls are what they sound like they are souls that have had many lives many incarnations and usually when people call you this they are talking about earth lives like you've had many human incarnations it seems like because you're very in tune with the way this earth works you're very in tune with society and kind of how to go about life but um as an old soul you've actually had many if not more incarnations as alien beings too that you don't even remember probably but um yeah you can do work and start to remember those lives and your human lives but um old souls are usually more skeptic to all of this stuff so if especially if you're kind of just considered an old soul and you aren't really into the whole light worker thing you're not really into the whole alien et thing um that would make sense because old souls are very cautious and they question everything they aren't into the new age spiritual yahoo even though this is the most ancient natural simple path there is just saying um they are only comfortable with what they're familiar with so if what they're familiar with is a culture or tradition that's hundreds of years old that's what they're going to continue to follow they're very stubborn they think they know how the world works and usually they do because they've been around for a while so um they're always going to continue to be familiar and connected to different times throughout history places people trends and styles um and that's gonna give them the clues to what past lives they've had okay now for empath this is the most popular of these five terms um there's lots of different kinds of empaths there's emotional empaths who feel other people's emotions there are physical empaths who physically feel what other people are going through there are animal empaths who can connect with animals energy there are earth empaths who connect with plants and the energy of mother earth and there are global empaths who can actually feel the energy of the collective consciousness and everyone on earth and what they're going through so that being said empaths are people who feel energy they pick up on all of the em energy around them take that all in all the emotions and everything um that's why they can get hunches about people pretty easily some people they don't even know and they'll just know exactly what their intentions are um they can also get taken advantage of easily being an empath because they are so nice they're so giving and selfless they understand people they feel what they're going through so they always want to help people um this can also bring you freaking physical symptoms if you're an empath you'll get tired a lot you'll get sick easily you're a very strong person emotionally honestly because you go through other people's emotions every day most of the time not even realizing it you'll just feel this stuff not even asking yourself if it's yours you'll just go through this and um then you know you'll wake up randomly and be surprised that your whole body hurts like it's because of these 
energetic blockages being thrown in your body from other people that you're picking up because you're letting yourself. So as an empath, asking yourself, you know, is this mine? <laughs> or do I even need to feel this? Like, why is this resonating with me? Am I vibrating this? That's a good question to ask if you're an empath. Um, so yeah, those are signs you're an empath. <laughs> now for shaman. So shamans are healers in every way physically, spiritually, emotionally, and energetically. They feel the need to help others transform their consciousness. They usually have had trauma in their lives or a difficult upbringing, which is kind of like their initiation to becoming so powerful, honestly. They are extroverted and introverted. Usually they're going to want to be by themselves in a corner, but when they want to, they definitely know how to work a crowd and can be as social as anyone. Um, they mainly just feel this deep connection to Earth, which makes them disconnected from the usual society. Um, they just really, on a deep level, respect the planet. It's not just like, I really like flowers, I really like animals. It's like, I could lay in the grass for weeks and be content with my life. Like, on the deepest level. Um, they have usually experienced, like, the dark night of the soul, existential depression, psychic sickness, and ascension symptoms like I talked about last week. Um, if you are a shaman, then yeah, you have experienced ascension symptoms um, on a deep level. So that's signs you're a shaman. Also just having um, paranormal experiences and being drawn to um, healing medicines, healing modalities in ancient cultures that um have certain practices just being drawn to learning all of that because a shaman is actually you know from what this new age shaman word has been drawn from is really the ancient practice of shamanism and you know the medicine man and medicine woman and um yeah shamans are people you go to for like a um guided like magic mushroom or ayahuasca trip you know Okay, so lightworkers is probably the most new age sounding word of these five for sure, but it's the same timeless concept. Um, there are people who came to spread love and light everywhere that they go. They enjoy lifting people up. They know what people need in order to heal, and they enjoy spreading the truth once they discover secrets about this world their soul just really wants to help the planet ascend um they are the most in tune with the stars and the planets um light workers are the most like star seedy people of these five terms i feel like and um like shamans they are kind of disconnected um, from the normal way society works. They feel closer to the spirit realm. Um, it's like they're too human for the spirits to like contact super clearly, but they're way too into the spirit world to communicate with the regular lingo as the humans anymore. Last, but definitely not least, the alchemists, okay? These people transform vibrational frequencies into higher frequencies. They aren't just like empaths who take in energy. They're going to take that energy in and transmute it into higher vibrations. They are people who walk into a room so confident that you cannot tell them anything okay they're the ones giving off the energy they're the ones upgrading that light and spirit energy into higher dimensions they can 
make something out of nothing. They're turning that root chakra energy into crown chakra energy. And most of them don't even know this, okay? Alchemists are very powerful souls. If you're watching this video right now, then you are a very powerful soul. You are an old soul. You are an empath. You are a shaman. You are a light worker. And you are an alchemist, okay? You really didn't need to even click on this video. You know yourself what you are and what gifts you have. You don't need my validation, but hopefully I kind of confirmed this for you and you have peace of mind now. And now you can go out and raise those vibrations. You can go out and share this info to people who are also open to it. Don't go throwing this in people's faces, sounding crazy and get thrown in the psych ward, you know. But go out there and spread the word, spread the truth, spread the love and light, okay? I don't mean to sound like cliche. I don't mean to sound egotistical about these terms either. That's a big thing. Don't go out saying you're an old soul. Don't go out saying I'm a light worker. Go out there and do what you gotta do. But fuck the label, okay? Like, I... I know you clicked on this video because the title has all of these labels in it, but at the end of the day, at the end of this video, I'm saying fuck the label, okay? Forget about it, okay? I plan on getting starseed tattooed right here across, like, my collarbone, but at the end of the day, you are an earth seed, and you are here as no label, okay? Your name doesn't even really matter at the end of the day, you're a soul. And if you are one of these five terms, then you will resonate with being none of them, more than any of them, okay? Um, that was food for thought <laughs> at the end of this video. So, all my old souls, I hope you realize that you guys are divine, infinite, multi-dimensional beings, and that you don't get wrapped up in these labels, okay? Um, so, use this for better understanding and um that's really all i have to say if you guys are still wondering what like a star seed means or you're interested in indigo crystal or rainbow children i'm definitely going to be talking about that in the next coming weeks so stay tuned and um yeah love and light and the hybrid children are coming soon